Hello, Internet, and welcome back to more Marooned on Triton. So, last week we did some uh, uh, ice mining. And it sort of worked. I mean, we mined ice, so it worked. It's just not maybe as effective as we'd hoped it would be. We also did a little bit of planning and plotting. There's a ship flying off just off screen there. Way it goes. Yeah, planning and plotting. Various things to do in the future. And the future is now. So let's see what various things we're up to. Yeah, another nice cold day. So... Down here in the pit, we have this thing. To turn into our flying, flying machine. Do I wanna... Nah, maybe I will leave that. At the very least, I need to use the uh, crane arm to pick it up and put it into a more useful position. That isn't upside down at the bottom of a hole. So I guess first step we should do is get the drill going again. Uh, uh dang it. How much? You've got power. So the ice is working from the engine. Yeah, it's going. So that's good. It'll churn through that and get some more power into batteries. Uh, hit that on recharge just for a bit. Though maybe not. Let's leave it at auto. You don't need much power, considering I don't have to actually move any hinges. It's not like it's going to use any power just sitting here. All I have to do is have power on it to make the connection. And it should be a fairly quick connection to be made. So let's do... Some blocks. Uh, I need steel for that. The unfortunate downside of the sort of gully it's drilling... There's not really much uh, ground left for me to attach stuff to. That That is only just barely into the ground. Now it's a little better. So, and I doubt the next one's probably not going to be in the ground at all. I'm going to have to either build a line. Maybe I leave this one. Or maybe I leave this one, so get rid of the top block here, leave the bottom one there, because then I know it's at the right level, I can build a little line out and attach to it. Okay. So now, go up here, and if I have that for reverse, I should be able to... Unlock that, turn it off, turn off the merge block, like so, and pull this piston in. Now in theory, all I have to do is grind off these bits, put on another piston, put these bits back on, and keep going. And hopefully, well, we'll see how deep that gets us. If I could get two pistons on, that would be nice. Two more at once. Because from there, I'll probably be just good forever. I don't need to be super deep. I just want to be deep enough that I can... Comfortably hide underground. And do whatever excavation and construction down here I want to. Without feeling you know, at risk for opening up into the surface above. Okay, those, one of those. So, piston there. Dang, I can't put a piston, I can't even place the piston there. So we'll have to go with two. But that could be an okay thing, because these pistons, in order to make this work in the way that it's been working, I'm going to have to do this a little weird, where... I'll have this piston sort of repeat what it's done thus far, and then I have to 
change out the piston and the timer block to this piston and have it continue because I can't extend them both together like you normally would in this situation. Go ahead and place that. We'll go up and place the merge block. And then we can just put everything back on as it was. Now, I guess I'll move the original piston forward. Just so I don't kind of... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? If I move this piston forward, it'll be sooner before I have to change what piston is in there. But because they each kind of step forward the same amount, and because it was at full extension, it should... I think everything should math out nicely so I wouldn't have like a weird, you know, point one, uh of an extension I have to do at any point. So we'll do this just because hopefully I'll still remember that I have to switch to the new piston when this one's done. Uh, we'll do it like with this method just so we have a little bit more control. The downside of this because it's so far away, it's really kind of tricky to know what's happening. In theory, the lights on the connector will light up before it's time. It'll get close enough before it actually locks. Oh, yep, the light's on. Okay. Very gently. Can I get... Yes, I can get a view of the lights on the merge blocks. Because I don't want to cause any weird pushing or pulling by letting them ram into each other once they lock. Oop. Like that. Okay. Uh. Hold on a minute. Yeah, no, I want you to be zero. Because otherwise, as soon as I detach this, it's going to start pulling backwards. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach that. Grind off this block. Oh, and share inertia tensor, and then did I max out everything on this one? No, but the non-axis is a hundred. So we'll do that just because I don't want this wobbling much. In fact, what happens if I do that? It's now in the red. Again, I don't know quite what the red means in terms of danger, but... You know, there are so many things that the engineers say it's dangerous, and you get out in the field, and it's really not, you know? It might explode the universe ever so slightly, but... It's a risk everyone takes. I'll label that as Piston 2, just because that'll help with uh, doing things in the future. Okay. Uh, what are you at distance-wise? Eh, that's what I was concerned of. It's not quite at a 4.5... It's not at a 0.5 increment. But I should be able to fix that by doing that, doing that, yeah, and then 
doing that. So if I now reverse, do that. Okay. Everything should be set up now. Do I want to do a sweep before I push it forward? Uh... Nah, I think it'll be fine. Because we came back a little bit there. It may chew through a little bit more stone in this, this initial pass, but the initial pass going up is generally all right. It's the pass going down I probably wouldn't want to risk it on. Yeah, this should be all right. All right. Drills on. Uh, go out because this is quicker. Timer. Engage. Yeah. It's not even... Yeah, it may not even strike... Oh. Oh. Let's do... The hinge thing again. Oh, it's gonna be a little weird. Well, I'm sure it'll all line up eventually. Uh, hopefully. Guess we'll see. It is jiggling more than I'd want it to. Hmm. There may be an actual size limit to how deep I can do this. Because if I get too much longer, this vibration may become to the point that it no longer actually works. It'll just start banging into walls and damaging itself. Well, we'll see how deep this gets into the mountainside. And honestly, at this point, I have so much resources from, or so many resources, I should say, uh, so much material, maybe would be a good phrasing for it. Got so much junk in the trunk, I could just make a wall three high by nine wide of drills and push it straight into the mountain. I'm kind of at a point now where I don't really need to do a complex solution to save on material. I've got so much material. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how deep it gets. And I may just kind of... We've done this. We've proven we can. That's what it means to be a space engineer. I may just mail it in afterwards to get the thing drilled. Because I would like... How... Yeah, I think it's safe to walk under here now. Uh... This is about at floor height. I'll have to get rid of that before the drills come down, or the drills will do it for me. This is... This is unnerving. Uh, I don't feel like I should be here. Um, okay. Oh, hinges don't fail now. There you go, new from current position. Get rid of those, that one stays. I want to do another depth test to see just where we are, how far below ground we are, and kind of how far away from the ice shore we are. I guess I can do that. We're just about, well, we're just about 100 meters from the beginning of the floor. So, from the entrance, I'd class this as the beginning of the entrance. We're a hundred meters in. Now, if I kind of walk up... Until I feel like I'm directly above it. This is probably great for anyone who watches this in the future. Okay. So, 39 and a half meters down. So, basically, 40 meters below ground at this point. That's pretty good. 
that's almost uh the distance uh that's almost half the distance of the tunnel in fact i could find that yeah so from here well actually i can find this easier if i do this yeah so from here to the back wall, that's how much ground we have above us. Well, above that point. So I guess from the top, maybe 35. That's still a decent amount. We'll see how deep this goes. That may do it. But I think for now, that's the drill reset up. We'll come check it and see when that piston gets extended. Now for this ice machine. I mean, the bright side is it filled up real quick, so I didn't have to do a lot of work. I've still got some ice left over. Uh, in fact, yeah. Not, t well, about 12k of ice 12,000 kilograms that's probably a decent amount this thing's at about 50% stockpiled so that's good no oh. energy. I am dying but that's normal yeah so honestly it may not have worked kind of how I intended but I think the ice machine works well enough it should keep me from having to do a ton of you know, going back and forth mining by hand, it, it'll work for now. So I think for now, we will leave it, let it work. Maybe we build something in the future. I'm still thinking that, uh, before, before too long, I think the hover barge will be handy to have around, but I think we're going to reach a point where we want to start doing some specialized things. Probably once we have a deep enough tunnel that we can kind of maybe drill a little hangar off to one side and then have an actual living area to one side and all that jazz. <clears throat> I think there'll be a big old, a whole bunch of underground construction. And at that point, we'll probably be ready to do some varied vehicles. But for now... Let's hop in. So one thing I may need, because I have plenty of forward-looking lights. I really don't have many lights on this that illuminate what's going on on the deck. So let's get some bits for those. Maybe one there and... Yeah, I can stick one on the back of the gun. Right now, they just really light up this area. But that should mean if I tweak them a bit. They don't need to be very intense. I can make it so I can always see the deck. Kind of where I'm putting everything. And then also always see... Yeah, we'll just set it to 10. Then also see what I'm grabbing. No, no, no. Where are you? There we go. Doing that picky thing again. Yeah. Covered in light. Maybe we make those part of... The lights group. So then if I hit a six, I can see everything. Okay. So. Uh, well, I'll need to extend that eventually, but I want to do that first. We'll raise up the crane arm. 
lift the drill thing off the deck, which I guess I could go ahead and hit nine. Then, oh, well, it's um, oh, okay, almost close enough. Yeah. So if we lift this off, wait for it to stop bouncing a little bit, maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's hefty. Okay. Three. Hello, drill. Okay. That should be good. I'll try not to bang it into the ground too much. Very gently. Now control three and unlock. There we go. I maybe could have put that in a better spot on the floor. Eh, but I can always move it later. Let's wheel ourselves out. Use this to pick up the uh, drone carcass. Uh, I think I can get the arm in there. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, I may have to stretch a little bit, but we can do that. Nope. Oh, I've used I really almost need controls for both of those hinges. Or I wonder. Hold on, let's do something. This will look a little wacky. So I'll put that there. Actually want to go up. Oh. Go up the arm. Bring this one. Okay, I'm in the hole now, but that's fine. If I bring this all the way over. The arm is now collapsed. Maybe this is how I should keep it normally. Because then the gun would have a fairly decent time working. Though actually, no, because then the gun can't aim up correctly. Either way. With them like this, if I... That's hinge elbow A and hinge elbow B. Hinge elbow. Yeah, they're sort of a elbow. So. Let's call these... The elbow hinges. And what I'm gonna do... Ah, yeah, perfect. They even go the same way. Ah, oh, it's like I intended this and never did it. So we'll get rid of these controls. We don't need them. What we'll have instead... ...are both of them controlled at once. So... Well, that doesn't work, but... Yeah, so now I control the entire 180 degree arc. It's a little quick. I can probably... No, I can't because I... Man, their speed is what I control. It would be very nice if I had a way to, uh... Tell the hinges what increments to apply to things. But... I don't, so I won't complain. Anyway... Now, when I want the arm straight, it is straight. And then... 
I can't reach it because of how arms work. Right. Uh, well, got an idea. No, nah, not that. Can I... I need to get as close as possible. And I think, if I'm very careful... Yeah, I think I've got a wheel on each side of this gap. That's probably about as close as I can get. I really should have the, uh, some way to lock myself to the ground. Maybe I could build something coming off the back to do that. <clears throat> but that could be a later, later task for now. Let's swing the old arm. around and now nope okay yeah this should work yes I think uh yes I'm touching it because I hit it can I ah got it Now the question is, do I build this out here or take it into the hangar? And I feel like having it inside is the better option. So let's bring it in. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, those, uh, the power of those two hinges at once is really something. If I didn't need it to bend in on itself, I'd almost be tempted to just get rid of one of them. Though it would be a lot more difficult to reattach it to, uh, to reattach the crane together with the crane pulled apart. Okay. Now, yes, we drive. The pain will be getting it flipped. Maybe I'll just try and set it on the front of the car and it'll fall on its own. I could do something with that. If I kind of rest it on the corner of... Like, uh... The darn third person drone gets confused. If I kind of rest it on the lip where the lights are, like just beyond its sort of center middle of mass, hopefully it'll roll all the way enough forward that it'll be the right side up. I don't know if that would happen, but I can hope. Okay. So I'm going to need to get out of control of that. Uh, this is going to be dangerous. Whoop. Good thing it's a tall ceiling. Uh, I think, yeah, I should be able to get enough distance from, uh, piston number two. To kind of... Get it where I oh, get it where I want it. If I go this way. I can see a little better until I can't. Okay. You know what? I think. Nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. That'll be good enough. Let's see if I can just give it a shove. Oh. 
Well, yes, but... Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe here. Take off the brake. Just push. Oh, hmm. Almost. I may need to tweak this thing's wheels. It's It's got a lot more oomph than I anticipate it having. Okay. Well. So it's A direction. Part of the downside may be that it really probably can't rest on uh, these thrusters. It'll kind of rock back and forth. Though in theory, it should rock backwards. Because I'd imagine the weight centers kind of here with all this stuff at the back. I'd be tempted to try and nudge it over the crane, but I feel like the crane is uh, not quite fine enough in terms of its motion to do that in any reasonable way. I think we're just going to have to go with a good old-fashioned... Oh, I'd say a good old-fashioned piston, but this has no power. And I can't really push it anymore. Oh, nope. there it goes a bit. Come on, you. Ha! Uh, ha! Come on, just a little more. Just a little more. Yeah, it doesn't want to move. Whoa. Oh, that was a little nudge. Hey, okay. Actually, interesting idea. Get a good run up and whoa. Ah, that did nothing. I think I'm moving it a little teeny bit. Come on, tip. Oh, it was so close. Tip. Just tip. Ah. Ah, it's trying. If I can get it flopped over. Oh, oh. Ah. It really wants to. Or it doesn't. And now it's just in a hole. All right, time for plan C. We're just going to make a good old-fashioned lever. Then... Put this lever... Come on, it's got to be... Yep, there it goes. Yeah. Flipped over. Only minorly awkward. No real damage to any of the components. That had already happened. Okay. So I've got this thruster pod... I guess I'll leave the antenna. I don't know if I want it. With how this vehicle's going to operate, it's going to have to be man manually flown. And I guess it could come in handy. Okay. So let's get... Stuff for battery. Uh, I guess we could check the pistons while we're at it. Okay, it's at seven meters, this one. So we're making progress.
No, hold up. Is it doing weird? Eh, the roof still looks okay. Whoops. Kind of wanted to walk out along that, but... Yeah, I think it's still fine. In theory, it really shouldn't actually be able to... Uh, again, not where I want to be. But it really shouldn't be able to get to the point where it would start hitting on the roof and not be able to turn because it goes because of the short bit it goes forward and the fact that they kind of sit up there for a minute at their sort of straight vertical let's go up and check the timer two minutes yeah I think it'll get there I'm tempted to add a little bit of extra time on the timer just so that it kind of has enough time to sit there for a second because if it sits there it'll grind away everything nearby and even if it is kind of janky and missing some bits it should spend enough time up there that it clears its own path out okay I guess worse comes to it. It's, nothing's moving fast enough. I should, if something goes wrong, just be able to reverse it and then set it up to do things again. Battery parts. Uh. So this thing's all silvery. Maybe I'll paint it. And then I'll decide what color I want it to be. Because I feel like I kind of need to decide on a color scheme. And I don't know. I mean, this powdery blue works. Does the job. Kind of makes sense against ice. And I don't want everything to just be monocolor blue. I need to do some more coloring work, but... For now, we'll just kind of start strapping something together, and if I can get it operating, then I can worry about colors. Okay. Oh, I should have probably gone around and turned off these thrusters. Luckily, the thruster that's facing any blocks is above them, so it didn't melt through the floor more than the hole I already ground into the floor for it. Okay. Now I could do one of these. That would kind of make sense. The side one, probably not. I could also do an enclosed cockpit. That's maybe a step too big. Yeah, no. All those look janky. I think this kind of fits the scale the best. It's a very basic uh, vehicle. So, one of those there. Get it welded up. You put the gyroscope right here. So that is something. Let's maybe. Ah, oh, it's called Scout Bot. Let's turn that off. Name it antenna. Okay. Very basic, but that should be operation operable. Now what I need to do is get it 
lifted so I can add some landing wheels. Yeah, I think I'll want the landing. If I have two wheels kind of right at the front here that are big, I could have one sort of skid, sort of how I did the original hovercraft, at the back. And that should be enough that it can kind of bounce and keep itself stable on landing. Because I don't think it needs to land fast. I can flare up and slow the thing down. But there's going to be some forward momentum as it comes down. So I need to make sure to protect it from the ground. Okay, can I... I really can't move it very much. If I stick one of these on the back here... Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Uh, well, let's just try something. So these are these thrusters. Thrusters on. Yeah, as long as I stay nosed forward, I can support myself. So I don't need to do complex things. Wheels there, wheels there. Maybe wheels there. Okay. These wheels are going to be cartoonishly massive compared to the vehicle. Hmm. Maybe the issue is the small wheels, they're so small, the suspension block hits the ground if you kind of run anything other than perfectly flat. And I would assume coming in for a landing would count. Got an idea. It again might be silly. Uh, but it would fit the theme of building vehicles that are essentially building rovers to do things that they aren't meant to be doing as rovers. It's like this is a pretty standard wheeled vehicle that I've designed to glide along as if it's on skates. This, I think, will be a four-wheeled little scout rover that's built to fly. So, we'll have this sort of line coming under. Do this. Actually, this one. We need a little different. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, do that, that, and then one of these. Then, got wheel, oh, then we've got, ah nuts, the thrust is too close. Okay, back one, we'll have wheel and a wheel. And I have to be up there for that thruster. Okay. This is getting convoluted, but I think it will be something when it's done. Okay, wheel there. That one couldn't place because my body was in the way. Wheel there. Uh, can I? Yes, I can. Then, up front here, if we kind of... Bring it down a little bit. We'll have that. Oh, no, I know what we're going to do. We're going to have... 
this line can be here. We're then going to have coming down from this way. This stretch of armor. Uh, that's probably about as close to centered as I could get it. Because it's the center leaning towards this half. I think that'll do. So, it is a flying three-wheeled dune rover buggy thing. This is probably not optimal of a design. It's probably about as inoptimal as you could make a design. Uh, I wonder if that'll clip. I may have to extend it out a little bit. Eh, it looks like it'll clip, but we can see. Oh, right. I forgot it flies. Okay, let's take this beast over here and land it. Oh boy. Right, none of the wheels work because they aren't welded. I can thrust in interesting ways. Can I? And the gyro is not strong enough to lift the. Maybe I give it another gyro. This thing is strange. Okay. Oh boy. Right, the thrusters. Uh, there's a group for them. Toggle on off. Now. These two I don't want to steer. The front one I do. Maybe the front one doesn't propel. Sounds good. Could also maybe steer a little better, but that's fine. Yeah, the stuff, especially the asymmetric wheel right in front of you, doesn't whoa, doesn't fill you with confidence. But oh, look at it! Oh boy, it loves to wheelie though, which is probably good because it flies. So it can wheelie into takeoff. Okay. This thing is silly and probably not very useful, but I think I love it. The Sky Trike. Aw, oh, it's the Sky Trike. You are now. Oh. You were. Sky Trike spelled weird. Sky trike. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if that front wheel. So this is going to be wheel front, left, rear, right, rear. Uh, let's maybe make it a 30 degree. Yeah, really lean into the turns. Oh, boy. Yeah, it likes to nose up. Uh, right. Let's do just a couple more things. I want handbrake on the hot bar. Uh, antenna, maybe, just in case I need it. Uh, there's an unknown signal up there. I think that would be a good test. All right. Engine's on. Dampener's off. And up we go. Ah, oh, it's not doing too bad. It, the controls are a little sluggish. It does seem to want to push itself down. That might be that front wheel.
Ooh, but when I give it the beans, it rares up in the sky. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the nosing down isn't ideal. Uh, shoot. I think we're relatively stable here because I'm nosed up at the moment. So I can probably fix that. As if I'm right. Uh, actually, this may do it. Yep. A handbrake. That can happen because the wheels will apply a gyroscopic force. Ooh, seven minutes when I'm thrusting. I'm going to need to figure out charging for this thing pretty quick. Dust the mountaintop, or just... I kind of wanted my wheels to hit, but at the same time, I very much didn't want my wheels to hit. Okay. Yeah, this thing works well. Let's drop down and flare a bit to kind of slow ourselves. And then once I'm in flat terrain like this, I can kind of just land like that, turn off the thrusters and drive. Ah, oh. this thing is quite doofy, but I think I'm in love with it. Ah, oh, what a machine. And as the overlay has gone away, I think you know what time that is. Uh, time for the end of the episode. I, I just kind of came up with this on the fly and I'm very happy I did. It'll probably go horribly, but I mean, look at it. Look how fun it is. Look how silvery it is. Yeah, I'm pleased. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Feel free to check out any of the other stuff I've done. And until next week, bye-bye.